Can you insure a property even if it's still under construction? We're going to answer that question and scratch the surface of engineering insurance today. What's up? You're watching Tito Talks, non-life insurance discussions with me, your favorite Tito Miguel, who loves to make non-life insurance discussions easier to understand for both agents and clients. Maganda, 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 magandang Wednesday evening po sa atin lahat. Thank you so much for tuning in today for another interesting lesson on non-life insurance. I hope you are all safe. I hope you are all dry. They raise a couple of storm signals in various areas in the country. So I hope wherever you are, you are underneath shade and you are dry and you are not in fear of drowning in any flood. Now, with that being said, let's go to our question, which we asked last time. Is it possible <clears throat> to insure a property, a house, a building, an office, a church, a theater, even if it has not been fully constructed yet? If there isn't a building to insure, what's there to insure? Ika nga. But the interesting answer to that question is a big resounding yes. You can insure a building even if it's still under construction. You're not insuring the building per se, but you are insuring the project. And for these types of projects, you can either go into a contractor's all-risk insurance or an erection <laughs> All erection, all risk insurance policy. Now, both of these types of insurances fall under a certain category of a larger branch of insurance known as engineering insurance, which is what we'll be tackling today. Now, when you see the term engineering insurance, you'll probably start thinking about skyscrapers, right? Um, really smart guys, good at math, really hard hard hats, um, looking at blueprints, arguing with clients over materials, what's, where's the cheapest labor, where's the cheapest materials. And you're absolutely right. Engineering insurance has a lot to do with the construction and erection of these projects, bringing them from blueprints into reality, which means there's a lot of money involved in here. So if you are the agent looking for something profitable in the market right now, uh -huh. you may want to look at your opportunities in engineering insurance. But Engineering insurance is not only concerned with construction projects. You will be surprised to know that engineering insurance also caters to heavy machinery, electronic equipment, even boilers and pressurized vessels. Yes, these types of machines are still insurable under an engineering insurance. It's for this reason that engineering insurance is divided into two classifications. And they are... The two classifications of engineering insurance branch out into renewable and non-renewable types. And from the names themselves, it's pretty easy to understand <laughs> what types of engineering insurances are there. Now, let's start with the non-renewable types. Now, under the non-renewable types of engineering insurance, you only have two of them that fall under this category. You've got the CAR, which is known as the Contractor's All-Risk Insurance, and the EAR, also known as the Erection, Erection, <laughs> Erection All-Risk Insurance. Now, you may be wondering, why are they under the non-renewable types? This is because these two types of insurance has only cover a construction project for the period that the project persists. <clears throat> so if the project is, let's say, supposed to be completed in about three years based on the contract, then that's how long the insurance will cover the project. Now, it goes without saying, once the project is completed, you no longer have a project, but you now have a property. Therefore, you no longer need an engineering policy. Rather, the newly established, newly constructed property now requires, can you guess? That's right, fire insurance or property insurance, which is, again, another additional opportunity for you agents to make 
a sale. Now, this with that being said, once, a, an, once an engineering project or once a construction project finishes itself and the, pro, and the project or the property has been turned over to the proprietor, to the actual owner of the building, there will no longer be a need to renew the engineering policy, hence the term non-renewable. The main difference between CAR and EAR on top of one being dirtier than the other, erection. <laughs> on top of one being a sounding dirtier than the other, the main difference between CAR and EAR are the types of projects to which they are supposed to insure. When you're talking about CAR, also known as contractors, all risk insurance, you're dealing with civil engineering works well miguel what are civil engineering works are these polite engineering works ha 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 very funny miguel no that's not what we mean by civil engineering works rather civilian engineering works structures to be used by the general uh, to be used enjoyed and perused by the general public you've got a wide array of them under this uh, under this category houses Offices, buildings, churches, malls, theaters, airports, bridges, dams, tunnels, you name it. Most of the things you see, most of the things you can use are prob uh, were probably constructed with a CAR <coughs> policy at the back protecting the project from any untoward incidents. Now, on the other hand, EAR, which is erection, erection, <laughs> Erection all risk policy. This is concerned mostly with the installation of individual machines or plants. So it's a little bit more complicated. And the some examples of these types of projects are large turbines, large generators, large hydroelectric power plants, textile factories, canning factories, machining factories, car manufacturing factories, so on and so forth. So for these types of complicated structures, you're going to need a more complicated type of insurance, which is your, which is your erection all risk policy now besides the these two which fall under your non renewable types you also have the now from your non renewable types of engineering insurance you now go to your renewable types of engineering insurance now that is the main difference, saying that with CAR, EAR, you don't renew, but with these types, you can now renew, which means they're not exactly concerned with the construction projects, but they are more concerned with the electronic equipment and machinery being used in these properties on a regular basis. This is why renewable types of engineering insurance branch out into either electronic equipment, insurance, machinery breakdown insurance, boiler and pressurized vessel insurance, and even loss of profit from machinery breakdown insurance. Now, these various types of renewable insurances all, uh, all center on the machines and equipment being used on the premises of the property. So let's say you're talking about a hospital. And inside this hospital, you've got a lot of very sensitive and delicate equipment, right? You've got your x-ray machines, you've got your dialysis machines, you've got your brain scanners, MRI scanners, operating tables, you name it. There's probably a lot more medical equipment that I can't even name inside the hospital. And all of these would require a special type of insurance that covers them if in case they get damaged and they need to be replaced. Uh, replaced. So with that being said, the main, uh, the main idea behind engineering insurance to open your eyes is not just concerned with the construction of a building, but it is also concerned with the individual electronic equipment, 
and machinery located in the buildings long after the building has already been completed. And if you do open up your eyes and find hospital owners, contractors, building owners, office owners, there are opportunities waiting for you to offer engineering insurance in its various forms. Now, I hope you enjoyed that session as much as I enjoyed giving it to you today. Let's go to our question of the day, which shall introduce us to our next very interesting topic. Is it possible for a policy to have no coverages? Hmm. <laughs> what do you think? Let me know what you feel in the comments. Tell me how you feel about it. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It's free and it helps our channel grow even bigger. Let me repeat that question one more time. Is it possible for an insurance policy to have no coverages? <laughs> well, it sounds interesting. You'll be shocked to find out this coming Friday when we resume Tito Talks once again. So thank you so much for attending this special lesson of Tito Talks. Once again, this is your favorite Tito Miguel always saying, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>